Well, we're ready to go ahead and start the season off. And I just got these pumpkins that I decoupaged a couple years back. These are uh, Mackenzie Childs. The one with the flowers is one of her napkins that I decoupaged. And the other one I did freehand. I like, um, I like her style. This dressed up my little uh, light over the dining room table. Um, I like to to dress that up for the each season that I that I do um, the decorating inside like that, and um, I need to get some napkins. But here's some little towels that I've gotten over the years. These super cute little towels, and this is my dining room table. I I redid that. I still have a couple things I I need to do with that. Uh, a lot of projects I put off uh, until I need to be inside the house, which it was too nice out. <laughs> I took out the old arrangement that I had made for the summer season and replaced it with this one that I made for this season. And um, I just love these little candlesticks. They look like birch uh, bark on the outside. <laughs> There's my kitty. Uh, we believe he's going to be about a year old, probably right near uh, Halloween time, as much as we can figure. He was he was abandoned on our on our doorstep practically in our yard. This is some potpourri my bestie got me a couple years back. It smells so good, you guys. Wish you could smell it. it smells kind of like a mixture between vanilla and cinnamon, and um, Maybe old leather. I love it. And of course, you know, the cedar smell. And there's a little more of a close-up of the one that I hand-painted. It's it's not the greatest, but it was my first attempt at it. And I just love, I love the style. It's so easy and quirky and, and um, kind of pokes fun at yourself, which I don't like to take myself too seriously. Her napkins are gorgeous. This is one um, with the, uh, it's a seasonal one that she's got. Kenzie Child's got all kinds of cool stuff. I don't even believe she owns the uh, that store anymore. So I'm going to put this in my hutch. Um, this was my mother's hutch, and I cannot figure out. Um, I'm just I haven't pulled the trigger on whether I want to put glass in uh, the doors or um, like chicken wire. I have the glass. I just don't know. I painted this. Um, I did kind of an ombre gray and yellow. And then um, I got transfers, uh, uh, these beautiful transfers. And um, I think I have, I think I might have uh, photos of that. I did that uh, last year, maybe. Yeah, I think I did it last winter. It's really pretty in person. I've got to. Um, figure that out. This is a cute little plate. I think I got this at Home Goods, and my uh, kitchen is teal and it's got some blues in it. So this is this was what my um uh fall bucket looks like. Some of the stuff in here is for like this is for uh actually Thanksgiving, but I keep it in the fall basket. Cute little pillows I've gotten. We got some lights. Um, we put those uh, around the door. And um, uh, around um, some eaves in the uh, garage. And I, this pillow is a cute little pumpkin pillow. I cannot for the life of me remember where I got that. But it's fairly good sized. It's really cute. Had to have it. And there's the colors of... Um, my kitchen there these are hilarious these these witches um legs it's kind of it's just, I just think it's hilarious I put those in my uh, planters boxes <laughs> uh I've got a lot of um garland I use some of it over the doors and then uh, some of it over the uh, around the chandelier there that we have over there. This is cute, but I think um, this is a little cross, and I think I'm gonna wait and use that for Thanksgiving. So we'll have some sort of different 
look there. <laughs> Probably going to do a few crafts. There's some things I, I think are um, would be cute to have. And uh, Happy Harvest, I think I'm going to probably use that um, closer to Halloween time. Because we, we really don't do Halloween. I mean, we'll give candy, but um, we, uh, we don't really do anything much more than that. Um, and that's a neat little harvest sign. It's... Um, it's made out of metal. It says, I, it, I think it says Happy Harvest, maybe. This is made out of slate. I don't know where I got this, but I got it a long time ago. And um, it's got sunflowers and pumpkins. Our pumpkins are not quite ready in the garden. So um, I'm going to have to buy some uh, for the stairs in the front and on the side of the house and i think i'll get some of the warty ones some of the kind of a green gray color um there's some picks i got probably probably at the dollar store with little fake feathers on them and then i'll get the regular you know orange um and then white pumpkins as well These are neat. These are this. You can't see it in this, but it's um, actually it's an orange pumpkin. These are metal and they go out in your yard and they're going to go right on either end of these um, rows of heather that I have on either side of the sidewalk I'm going to fix next summer. Um, I live in a really old house and uh, so there's uh, there's a few things that need to be done for sure. That's a cute little pillow, darn it. I didn't get a good uh, look at that, but it is very cute. This That's really neat. That's from a friend. And I, um, I've got some glass, like, um, well, these are glass pumpkins, and I've got some glass acorns. These are really pretty in person. They're crack, crackle glass, and they're an ombre, like a teal, oh, kind of a gold this is um, really pretty in person too. It's glass as well, and it's beautiful green speckle. That's beautiful. It's gold acorn. This one is it's beads and sequins. My friend that passed away um, made these for this for me. It's really pretty. Um, she actually took a leaf and and um, cut it out from the leaf, and yeah. We put uh, oil in it or um, maple syrup. And she also made this. This is a cute little guy. His I've got these in here just to prop that up because the lid shrunk up a little bit when it got uh, put in the kiln. So it doesn't fit quite right. Can't really put a, a real light in there. I could put a tea light in there, which I do sometimes. But that's real special. I've had that for a long time. I remember her telling me the hardest part was the stem. <laughs> I, uh, and that's it. 